Okay, my name is Joy Muller, and I'm a myofunctional therapist. I've been practicing for over 35 years and teaching courses in the treatment of myofunctional disorders. I originally found out about this from my son who had this problem. He was a mouth breather and a thumb sucker, and he had all kinds of headaches and jaw problems. And, and I saw how this helped him and went back to school, studied everything I could. And I'm here to share uh, some information for you um, on myofunctional therapy. Uh, first of all, what is myofunctional therapy or myofunctional disorders? What are they? And we deal with the muscles of the head and neck. We pattern, we pattern them, we work on the rest posture of the tongue so that the tongue is resting up in the roof of the mouth. We work on breathing so that you're exclusively breathing through your nose in and out. And we work on habits like thumb sucking, nail biting, all those habits which cause your muscles and your face to move and your teeth and your jaws to develop incorrectly. And so what is the cause of myofunctional disorders? The cause mainly is uh, a few things that go all the way back to when you were a baby, if you were breastfed or if you were bottle fed, and uh, how the jaws develop as opposed to using pacifiers, sippy cups, and um, finding your thumb and, or, or your fingers. A lot of children will suck their fingers or their thumb. And it feels good to do that, especially if your tongue is in the wrong place. Sometimes your tongue rests on the bottom of your mouth because of a little phenomena called a lingual frenum. That's the little string, it's like a guitar string underneath your tongue. Everybody has one, but sometimes people are born where it's too short. The, the string is too short and the tongue cannot lift to the palate. When the tongue is not lifting correctly and resting in the palate, what happens is a lot of times your mouth falls open and you start, start mouth breathing, but also the palate doesn't form right. It forms high and narrow as opposed to being round and flat. And when the palate is high and narrow, what happens is there's not enough room for the teeth to come in. And so there's a lot of crowded teeth and also the roof of your mouth is actually the floor of your nose. So if it's high and narrow, then the nostrils and the, the nasal cavity doesn't form right. Also, another very important thing is the roof of your mouth way in the back is actually the base uh, of your, your brain, the cranium base. So if that's not being supported, we have a lot of learning disabilities and balance problems that children or adults may have, fuzzy thinking, dizziness. So holding your tongue in the right place does a whole lot of things. It helps you breathe better and when your tongue functions better you can actually swallow better without choking and you can um, also uh, breathe better. Now why is myofunctional therapy important? Because we do thumb sucking uh, treatment where we teach children how to stop sucking their thumb. Many times children do it because it feels good, they know it's wrong, <clears throat> but they don't know how to stop. And a lot of parents have tried putting Tabasco on their, tongue, on their uh, thumb so it doesn't taste good and, or started scolding the child or the dentist has sat and said, you've got to take that thumb out. But the child hasn't realized why that their thumb is pushing their teeth the wrong way and putting a dent in the roof of their mouth and they haven't decided themselves that they want to quit. So what a good biofunctional therapist will do is sit down with the child and explain why it's important to stop and then ask the child if they would like to quit and show them a way that you can help them and they would get positive rewards 
for doing that. And once the child commits to doing it, then the parent gets involved and we have a whole therapy program. It only takes about 30 days and it's very successful. And then what we can do is maybe talk about repatterning all the face muscles. Periodontal disease is another major problem and when people breathe through their mouth a lot, the tissues in their mouth are inflamed because the bacteria in your mouth need air to live. So when you're mouth breathing all day, all day, all day, that the biofilms, which is the plaque that covers your teeth, is much thicker. And nobody wants periodontal disease because it causes bad breath and loose teeth and a lot of treatments at dental offices. So we have found that by doing myofunctional exercises, the periodontal condition improves. I just hope that, uh, I'm glad that you're watching this video in hopes that the myofunctional therapist at your dentist's office or uh, in another setting will be able to help you with these, dis these major problems.